to day 17 of Christmas songs on Weird Instruments with Matt. Today is the second part of our special two-part series of musical instruments from the subcontinent of India. And today's instrument is the harmonium. Now, I hear you saying out there, wait a minute, Matt, the harmonium, that's not an Indian musical instrument, is it? And to that I say, yes, and then no, and then, yes again. It's sort of a complicated history. Let me explain. First, this particular harmonium was handmade in India, so it is an Indian instrument. However, the harmonium itself was not invented in India. It had its beginnings in Europe as a free reed version of a pipe organ that one could pump with one's feet. In fact, another name for the pump organ sitting next to me is a harmonium. However, when India was still a British colony, the harmonium was a much preferred instrument to import. Uh, it was lightweight and more durable, and it responded to the climate of India better than a piano or a pipe organ did. And so the harmonium became uh, popular in India, and by 1875 we saw the release of the first hand harmonium, of which this is a model. The hand harmonium adapted the harmonium for the playing of Indian classical music by making a few key changes. First of all, as I'm sure you know, it is much smaller, and I guarantee much lighter, than other foot-pumped harmoniums. So it could be played while seated on the floor, which was the style employed by Indian classical musicians. There were drones added across the front, so you could have sustained notes, which was a key feature of Indian music. And, as we learned yesterday, because Indian classical music is based around the melody and not the harmony, you could pump with one hand and play melody notes with another. Because of the somewhat complex and difficult history between these two countries, I've decided that today we'll play an English carol on this Indian harmonium. So I hope today you enjoy God Rest Ye Merry Gentlemen.
Thank you very much, and I hope you have a wonderfully merry Monday. I will see you next time.